Hi everyone, I'm Miss Katie from Rockland Public Library and welcome to Rockin' Story Time. Let's start off by clapping our hands. Can you clap your hands along with me at home? Here we go. We clap and sing hello. We clap and sing hello. To all our friends at story time, we clap and sing hello. Great job, everyone. Now we're gonna stomp our feet. I know you can't see my feet, but here are my knees. One, two, are you ready to stomp? Here we go. We stomp and sing hello. We stomp and sing hello. To all our friends at story time, we stomp and sing hello. <laughs> Great job, everyone. Welcome, welcome. Today we're going to be reading about polar bears. Brrr. We're gonna read about polar bears. Can you say that word or the words polar bear at home? Polar bears, polar bears. We're gonna use that as our bread and butter run today. So for bread and butter, we clap our hands and then we clap our knees. Clap our hands, clap our knees. Here we go. Bread and butter, marmalade and jam. Let's say polar bears as fast as we can. Polar bears, polar bears, polar bears, polar bears. <laughs> That's a little tricky. Polar bears, 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 polar bears. How are you doing at home? Any better? Let's try it one more time. Ready? Polar bears, polar bears, polar bears, polar bears, polar bears, polar bears. <laughs> that one's tricky, but it's really fun to do. Let's do another. Here we go. Bread and butter, marmalade and jam. Let's say polar bears as slowly as we can. Polar bears. Good job. That's a really good one. So we're going to start off with a P noise. P -p -p polar. And then the second word is bears. Starting with a B. B bears. Great job, everyone. Let's do another. Bread and butter, marmalade and jam. Let's say polar bears as loud as we can. Polar bears. Great job. One more. Bread and butter, marmalade and jam. Let's say polar bears as quiet as we can. Polar bears. Great job. Let's see what our first polar bear story is today. And our first one is a pretty silly story. This is called, <laughs> There's a Bear on My Chair by Rose Collins. There's a bear on my chair. Do you see who's saying that? It's a mouse. And this is a great book full of fun and rhyming words. There's a bear on my chair. Those rhyming words right there. Bear, chair, bear, chair, they rhyme. There's a bear on my chair. He is so big, it's hard to share. There isn't any room to spare. We do not make a happy pair, a mouse and a bear, with just one chair. Look, there isn't any room for the mouse. When I give him a nasty glare, he seems completely unaware. I don't know what he's doing there, that bear who's sitting on my chair. You see the glare? Do you think you can give a glare? It's when you kind of squint your eyes and give a nasty look. Hmm, that's a glare. I must admit he has some flair. He has fine taste in leisure wear. I'm fond of how he does his hair, but still I wish he was not there. I'll try to tempt him with a pear to lure him from my favorite chair. Would this work on you? Could you be lured with a pear? I really like pears. But he just goes on sitting there. Why won't he go back to his lair? Maybe I'll give him a scare. Do you think we can give a scare? Can you say, boo, boo? Do you think it'll work? Maybe I'll give him a scare. I'll jump out in my underwear. But no, of course, he does not care. That stinky bear sat on my chair. I understand that bears are rare. I know they need the utmost care. I know all that, I am aware. 
But still, I cannot stand this bear. Oh, Mouse is sad. Just sitting there. That's it. I'm done. I do declare this bear has led me to despair. It is not fair. It is not fair. I'm going now. I know not where. Oh, that's an angry mouse. Oh, oh no. <laughs> as soon as the mouse left, who got up from the chair? The polar bear. Oh, where's the polar bear going? Hey, there's a mouse in my house. <laughs> Found the mouse. The end. <laughs> Great listening, everyone. I think we should do some songs about polar bears. So I have one song that talks about a couple different kind of bears. We're going to start off with a grizzly bear. Can you make grizzly bear claws like this? Can you make some claws? It goes like this. Grizzly bears are big and strong, big and strong, big and strong. Grizzly bears are big and strong and live in the woods. Now polar bears, can you see what color polar bears are? Polar bears are white. So we're gonna say polar bears are soft and white, soft and white, soft and white. Polar bears are soft and white and live where it's cold. How about teddy bears? Does anyone have a teddy bear at home? We're gonna pretend like we're holding them tight. Teddy bears are just my size, just my size, just my size. Teddy bears are just my size to cuddle with at night. Great job, everyone. I thought we'd do one more. And this one is gonna be another silly song and we're gonna do some more bear claws. Can you get your bear claws out? We go like this. Grr, grr, said the polar bear one day. Grr, grr, said the polar bear. Grr, grr, said the polar bear one day. And they all said grr, grr, grr. But teddy bears go huggy, huggy, hug. Huggy, huggy, hug, huggy, huggy, hug, teddy bears go, huggy, huggy, hug, they don't go grr, grr, grr. <laughs> Great job. Let's try that one more time. Are you ready? Get out those claws again. Here we go. Grr, grr, said the polar bear one day. Grr, grr, said the polar bear. Grr, grr, said the polar bear one day. And they all said grr, grr, grr. But teddy bears go huggy, huggy, hug, huggy, huggy, hug, huggy, huggy, hug. Teddy bears go huggy, huggy, hug. They don't go grr, grr, grr. <laughs> Great job, everyone. Now, before we do our second and last story, I wanted to show you just a couple pages from this book called Life Size. This is Life Size by Sophie Hen. And I wanted to show you, this book is full of pictures of the real sizes of animals and fun facts. So this says, polar bears live in a place called the Arctic, which is rather cold. Brrr. Huge paws, so their hands, huge paws, help spread out the weight on the ice and snow. So they do a lot of walking on snow and ice. And this is an actual size of a real paw for a polar bear. So I know you can't use it at home, but I'm gonna put my hand next to it. This is my hand next to the size of a real polar bear sized hand. Can you see how much bigger their hands are than my hand? Wow, they have huge paws. Polar bears are really big. And you can tell just from the difference in hand size. Is my hand anywhere near big enough? Look at my head next to it. Even the pot is bigger than my head. This is a huge, huge bear. So I think we're ready for our second and last story. And it is called Cubs Big World. Cubs Big World is by Sarah L. Thomas, Thompson and illustrated by Jane Capetta. 
Let's see what happens in Cub's Big World. Cub knew all about the world. It was smooth and white and cool. Inside the world were mom and cub, and that was all. Mom was big and white and warm. Her nose was black and her milk was sweet. Cub could hear her heart beat thump, 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 thump. Cub's world was good. One day, Mama poked her black nose through the wall of the world and Cub scampered outside, scampered outside after her. The light was bright. It's Cub's first time outside. It made Cub blink, it was so bright. The wind was strong, it ruffled Cub's fur. The sky was a color Cub had never seen before. Blue, said Mom. Blue, whispered Cub. Look at all those swirls of blue. Cub found a hill, step by step by step. She went up and up and up, and at the top, she stopped and stared. The world was big, big, big. Whoops, whoa, the world was slippery too. Down, 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 fast, fast, fast. The world was fun. Cub slid to a stop and she looked around. Hmm, white hills, white valley, white to the edges of bright, bright blue. But where was mom? You see Cub looking around, Cub's looking at you. Cub doesn't see behind, behind Cub. Do you see what's behind Cub? Mom. But he doesn't, she doesn't see her. Cub sat and thought, hmm. Mom's nose was black. Cub looked for one black thing in a white, white world. <gasps> there she is. There's mom. <laughs> Raven flapped away. No, that wasn't mom. <gasps> Oh, there's mom. Cub leaped. Is this his mom? Is this her mom? It's not her mom. Swish, an ermine flicked its tail. Oh, there's mom. Cub pounced. Splash. Is this Cub's mom? No, it's a seal. Oh, oh, oh. A seal dived deep down into the water. The world was too big for Cub with no mom. Cub was brave. She found another hill. Step by step by step, she went up and up and up. And here she thought, I will see mom. But all she saw was snow. Snow in her eyes, snow in her ears, snow in her face as she tumbled and rolled between two big paws and was kissed by one Big black nose, who is it? <gasps> Dear cub, said mom, the world is big. I'll be close by till you're big too. Mom's fur was soft, her voice was sweet. Her heart beat thump, 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 thump. Home, whispered cub, cub's world was good. There they are cuddled. The end. Great listening, everyone. I think it's time for us to stand up and do some head, shoulders, knees, and toes to end our story time. Can everyone find their head? Can you find your head? Good job. Here we go. Head, shoulders, knees, and toes, knees, and toes. Head, shoulders, knees, and toes, knees, and toes. Eyes and ears and mouth and nose, boop, boop. Head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. Great job, everyone. Can we do it a little faster? Here we go. Head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. Head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. 
eyes and ears and mouth and nose and boob and shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. Great job, everyone. Thank you for coming today and head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes, head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes, eyes and ears and mouth and nose and boob, head, shoulders and toes, knees and toes. Have a wonderful day and I can't wait to reach you all next week. Bye-bye.